we know that you are blessed and that your life is in your hands, that you have total control over your life. And love that you get that understanding. That you know that you fully have control over your life. And you can do anything you want with it. Hold on to that. And hold on to that very tightly. Because you will need it. You're going to need it. Trust yourself. Believe that you can do anything you want. That is possible. And that the things that are written in the Bible are things that you can accomplish. They are not fairy tales. They are not just mere stories. They are things that human beings have done. The Bible you have in your hand, the modern Bible that we hold, may be corrupt. But it's based on a true life story. It's based on things that happened to a people. And so the story may have changed over the course of time. And probably because it fell in the hands of the wrong people. And it had to be treated to suit certain conditions. It doesn't come to the fact that the Bible is a story of a people. And that story is a true story. It's what happened. Just like tomorrow, my story will be told. And over the course of time, some generations may think it was just a fiction, but it's reality, it's me speaking. All those heroes we hear in the Bible, some may be fake, but they represent people who want to lead and perform certain activities in real resemblance to what we read in the Bible. So, it is very important for we humans to understand what is written in that book. If we are applied in our lives to the later, we will live amazing life. Yes, Malo said so. If you apply the Bible, what is written inside, you apply it in your life diligently. Carefully study it. And apply it in your life. Slowly. You will become that which is written in that book. Yes. The man would have said so. That if I apply the Bible to the later, from the book of Genesis, right to the book of Revelation, if I apply it in my life, I read it, I follow it, diligently, you will be confident. It's going to happen. I want us to turn 
talking about? The thing that you know, do Christian. What we call in my tribe, Mumri. The child of God. Said. The Englishman calls him Jesus. And I don't like that Jesus that they call me. Because the teaching was strong. Strong to fool people. And paint another image in, re in resemblance of the original image and make everyone else a believer. We should correct that. It's an abomination. Jesus Christus asked us to follow him. He asked us to believe in him. Said, whosoever shall believe in me shall have eternal life. That's what he said. Many people question that. And that's wrong. The only reason why we question that is because we do not understand fully what he was talking about. And it only takes a little bit of time, just a little, to put a little bit of salt on that so we get to understand what the Son of Man was talking about and how we can put that in our lives and see amazing things begin to happen. I hope I'm talking to somebody because I want to talk to somebody and I love to talk to somebody today. Paying a little bit of attention. One minute is not too much. Two, three, four, five. The Son of Man said, Whoever shall believe in me will have eternal life. He meant business. He did. He meant what he was saying. If you believe in me, you get eternal life. Why should I believe in a man to have eternal life? He did not say believe in me, just believe in me and then have eternal life. Mm -mm. That's not what he was talking about, brethren. Believe in what I said and what I did. What I opened my mouth and said that is worthy to be done. And how I live my life. Believe in that. Do that. If you do that, you will have eternal life. Uh huh. Yes. Not just say, believe in Malo. Believe in him. Just, yeah, I believe that Malo is a child of God. I believe that Malo is, is a spiritual person. Yeah, I believe in you, Malo. Thank you for being there. And then tomorrow, you will have eternal life. Mm -mm. You will lie to yourself. Wake up. You've been lied to. You've been told a lie. Really? Believing in Jesus Christ means the things he spoke, the things he believed in, 
the life you lead. Believing in him means respecting that. Doing that. Putting it in your life. Applying it in your life. I believe what Jesus said. That I should love my neighbor. So I have to go out there and love my neighbor. I have to go do it because I believe what he said. I will do what he said. That is believing in Jesus. Jesus said, if I see someone who is hungry, if you give him food, if you give her food, you have given food to me. I will go out there and give food to somebody and help the homeless. And help the helpless, and help the suffering woman, and help this single mother who doesn't have a means. I will go out here with my wealth and spend a little in the life of somebody and make someone's life better. Because that's what Jesus said. If I do, that's where my salvation is in. And let me go and do that. That's believing in Jesus. When Jesus said, be in the war, but do not be of the war. Uh -uh. It's one thing to be in the war. It's another thing to be of the war. Which one are you? Where are you? You're not talking to me. Are you in the war? Or you are of the war? You cannot be two without the same. So, two masters at a time for me is big problem. You can't be here and be you. I can't be here and be in my room right now. I can't be here and be in Cameroon right now. I can't be in Minnesota and at the same time be in Bermuda. I can't be here in Ukraine at the same time, be in Mankong. <clears throat> I'm either you or they. You're either in the war and be with the war, or you are here and you don't participate of the chaos on the war. You can't embrace the two. You can't serve mammon spirit at the same time. Sweet and bitter waters can't come from the same source. <clears throat> it can't happen. Therefore, we have to make a choice where we want to belong. Brethren, I'm beckoning on you to do that. Your life is so precious to be playing Hunky panky with it. I'm telling you that right now. There is no game with your life because your life is serious. The one who created that life and gave it to you was serious before his back and his heel. Look at your, starting from the crown of your head. Look at your head. From there to the sole of your feet. Look at it, brother. It's well made. It's well manufactured from here to here. I'm telling you that. Take that seriously. And when you begin to take yourself seriously, everything will change. You will see that you need to maintain that. You will see that you need to maintain stability. You will see that you need to focus on yourself. You will see that you have to start sharing 
through things that are making you not to be able to focus on this. This is what I'm telling you. Just this is what I'm telling you about it. Your life is precious. Pay attention to it. You can't serve mammon and spirit at the same time. It's impossible. You either serve one, not both. You get confused. Because this one will tell you it's all story. That one will tell you it's all story. How can he go for both? How will he serve it? So, you need to be in the world because you are already here. But for you to get out of the world, it means your mind has to be out of the world. You didn't hear me. The only way that a human being who is in this world can free himself, herself, from the chaos of the earth is to be there with his mind and mindset somewhere else. That's the only way you can free yourself from being here. If ever you choose that this world is the best place for you to be, then focus on making this place the best for you. Unfortunately, it wouldn't last for long. Let me get some water. When Jesus said we should believe in him, he simply was asking us to believe in him. In what he was telling us. In what he believed. And that we should live. That we should apply it in our lives. So that we get results. And I am here to reiterate the same fact. That the things that Jesus said we should do are very important. We should believe in it. There is no reason to believe in Jesus and expect that we would just believe in him. And just believe that he said we should believe in him. And we believe, yes, I believe in Jesus. And then you have eternal life. You lie to yourself. Because that's not what it is. Believing in Jesus means doing what he said we should do. If he said we should pray, then we have to pray. If he said we should love, then we have to love. If he said we shouldn't love material things, then we should not. If he said we shouldn't fornicate, commit adultery, it means we shouldn't. If he said we should fast, then it means we should fast. If he said we should love our neighbor, it means we should love our neighbor. That's believing in what he said and do it. Brother, why do I say so? Because the things he said we should do are the things that give us life. They are the things that will adjust our lives. The things that Jesus, Yezu Christ, whom we said we should do, those things when we do them, we find paradise right here. It's not somewhere else. It's not there. It's not up there. Here, on this earth, if we do the things that the Son of Man said we should do, you hearing me? Please, have an understanding and start working with that understanding, you will see change. You will see an amazing change in your life. Don't just believe. Do what he said you should do. Do what the Bible says you can do. And you should do and do it. Don't do what the Bible says you shouldn't do. 
life will work for you if you do that. That's what it means to believe in that book. It doesn't mean just reading it and then dreaming it, visualizing it, and seeing yourself in that manner, going out there to preach to people, to talk to people, and say you believe. It is through lying to yourself. It's a big lie. You're putting it in your basket. The basket of your mind. Take it out. Please. Do it. Take that rubbish out. It's hurting you. It's going to hurt you for a very long time. That's not belief. You've been lying to yourself about believing in the Bible or the Quran or the Bhagavad Gita. It's just reading it visualizing it, dreaming it, believing within you that you are believing in it and you are trusting it as though it's working for you. No. <laughs> That's a wrong mindset. That's a contaminated way of thinking. Don't believe it. That's not it. I got it the other way. I took time to really figure out what it means to believe in those books, whether it's the Bible. Ashine. Happiness is not purchasable with money. I know that we ought to be happier than the happiest person on earth today. We ought to be healthier than the healthiest person on earth today. And yet, we ought to be smarter than the smartest person on earth today. The gift of happiness is not purchasable with money. The path is through meditation in which you can achieve freedom and get released from the burden of material pursuit, pursuit, pursuit. Practical self-healing from sickness poverty, negative vibration and suffering. My mission in this life is to confront evil. My job is to point a pervading light. We believe in one misconception and another. A shame. The needs and wants of man are steadily increasing by day. The scourge of daily unrest the more he has, the more he wants. We are not born into this world to accumulate material wealth. What a waste of precious time and effort. There are better ways to do this, brethren. Practical self-healing from sickness, poverty, negative vibration and suffering is the purpose of this call. Learn how to unlock negative childhood beliefs and curses holding you back from finding joy while living your dreams and vision. Enter into your own consciousness. Meditation saved my life. A ship breaking the horse gave me strength and made my bone strong. A shin is one of the most effective ways to keep your heart strong. Find peace, love, joy, happiness, abundant life, stability, and everything you ever desire in life. My soul and I has prepared a special package for you.